show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's hard to believe it's August 24th. Man, oh, man. Labor Day, here we come. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you're learning to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up by 84, NASDAQ up 82, S&P's up 11 and a half, gold contract up 250, trading 1808.50, silver up 29 cents, $23.95. Announce light sweet crude up two bucks, sixty-seven dollars sixty-eight cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note down seven ticks, trading one thirty-three thirty-one. The thirty-year off twenty-four at one sixty-five oh two. And King Dollar, King Dollar's down sixty ticks, trading at ninety-two eight ninety-eight. Euro one seventeen, yen one hundred nine point six eight. The British pounds at one thirty-seven to one the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in y'all world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we get another high out here today. You, we get over the highs of yesterday in the SPY. The high of yesterday was, uh, well, the high it got over was 447.31. Right now, you're at 448.35. <laughs> I can tell you, this contraction of volume today is pretty amazing, folks, okay? But the bottom line is that, guess what? Bottom line, you're at higher price. We let, take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs. Now, the three Qs had a major breakout yesterday. Uh, three Qs up today, 126. The contraction is pretty amazing, man. I mean, we only have 17 million shares in the Qs. So people are paranoid of buying it. There's no doubt about that. They bought it yesterday, though. They bought, they got 34 million shares yesterday, 17 million today. But guess what? If it holds price, it wants higher price. Small caps. Let's go take a look at the small caps out here, the IWM. So the IWM, bottom line. Now, this is what's pretty cool, actually. This, the IWM folks did what, you know, it was supposed to do technically. Technically, it went down to the bottom of its range, rejected lower price, had lighter volume. So it's like, okay, man, you're going to the top of the range. And, you know, the top of the range in the IWM is uh, 225 right now at 221. Gold. Gold contract is in a confirmed ABC structure up uh, to the 1894 level. Uh, now, in, in intraday here, we actually have another ABC structure on the way up, which is pretty cool. Let me get this one for you, because this is this was like a this popped this morning. Yeah, there it is right there. It popped at 840 this morning. Now, it hasn't made it yet, but I always love it when there's one ABC structure inside the other. And this is, this is a small, well, it's not that small. I mean, if we take the... What is, 809, yeah, it's a decent one. It's, uh, it's 22, 30, 20, 20, 31 points. And no, 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 not 31 points. Here we go. It's a smaller one. One second, hold on. Yeah, it's this one. Okay, so it's 808. No, third. No, it's, it's, it is 31. It's 31, which you get. Let me do this again. Bottom line, this thing wants higher price <laughs> more than anything. That, that's the bottom line. 
So we took this out. Let me just look at this again. One second. So we had intraday. There it is right there. Okay, it's 807. That's not that big. Oh, no, this is the one I was looking at. Yeah, because it, it did take it out. That's 35,000 contracts versus 54,000. Yeah, that's it. So this is the one over here. So your B point is 809. Yeah, that's right. So 15, 24. So 24 A to B equals C to D. Uh, so oh, that's interesting. So 24. That still gives you... Uh, 1820. Yeah, we're at 1808. So you get an intraday at 1820. That's the real bottom line. And if we go over to the dollar index, you're going to see, you know, we came down yesterday with conviction, wide price spread. Today, I didn't hold price. Today, you got to the uh, 93. 084, you're at 92, 289. That's saying it continues to want lower price. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond. We find the, uh, you have the note and the bond negative out here today. And let's see if we got what kind of volume we have at us. So this is going to get pretty intriguing now. And this is why. So notes and bonds, folks, okay, each and every time that you've been going down, you do not get volume. Well, we have volume out here today. Uh, you got 1.5 million contracts. Now, you don't have a lot of movement, but that's saying that, okay, guess what? This thing can go lower. So I suspect in 10 years, probably going to go to 133.29. It's only two ticks lower than we are. Well, 133.31. The swing low there is 133.09. We take a look at the 30-year. And the 30-year right now, that's down 25 ticks. That is laying out at... 396,000 contracts. Be pretty wild if this thing's going to stop moving. This has a little volume too. So we'll see where this baby shakes out. Uh, this, this is coming down on 369,000 contracts. So all in all, that's a lot of contract volume. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. You get AMC. That's making a move higher. It's up seven bucks. In fact, I think if you look at the, uh, is Robin Hood up too? So you know, you know, it's interesting about AMC today, folks. I'm wondering if this is so. The CEO of AMC uh, Networks, uh, after 25 years, uh, bottom line, uh, is retiring. And so this morning, I saw this, and I'm saying to myself, you know, I bet AMC is going to go higher because people just, you know, AMC. You'd hear, you don't hear AMC Networks. Well, the bottom line, it's a, that may or may not happen, but the bottom line, AMC is up. Uh, Seven dollars. This still has a shot position in it of 18 percent. So let's go take a look at Robinhood, just because it's one of the meme stocks that the Robinhood merry uh, men and ladies are, are trading. You get Robinhood up three dollars and 88 cents. And we have a shot position on this yet? No, there's still not a shot position that they're giving us on this just yet. Some of the other higher volume equities that we have out here today. This is going to be a really low volume market. There's no doubt about that. Uh, we have Advanced Micro down 78 cents. You have uh, Carnival Corporations is up a buck twelve. We got uh, Macy's up a buck. Uh, Airbnb, they got some good action going up thirteen dollars. Las Vegas Sands up two ninety six. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 88. You get the NASDAQ up 90. S&Ps are up by 12 and a half. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show every trading day right here. 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time also has a great newsletter. The great newsletter is the opening call. You want to ride that Chapman wave, folks? Real easy to come. Ride that wave. Come over to our website at TFNN. You'll hit newsletters. You're going to see on the left-hand side the opening call. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. You can get it for a year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil has approximately 10 to 12 archives on there. You get all of those. Great setup, great education. Check it out right here, right now. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Uh, Tom, for months and months and months, what are we looking at? We're looking at new all-time highs. It's just amazing, isn't it? It is amazing. <laughs> it is amazing, I'm telling you. For, for someone like me, it's really amazing too, Basil, because thank God I stopped shot in the market months ago. But you know what I mean? It's like, it's a trip. There's no doubt. I mean, it, well, it's... What is interesting is that there are certain stocks and even certain sectors that have had very substantial declines. And yet you can't read it in the market because the overall market itself, based on our four key uh, indexes, that's the Dow, S&P, QQQ, that's the NDX 100, and the IWM, which is the Russell uh, small caps, I, they've been holding so well. And even, and I think I've been saying this for I don't know how long, that we, even within groups, for instance, here, all of a sudden, out of the blue, we've got, we had Adobe in the Dow, which was moved into the Dow. It's amazing how they choose this. They put in all these techs into the Dow, <clears throat> Apple's in the Dow. You've got Cisco. Look at Adobe. Adobe is at an all time high. You've got Home Depot and the other end of the spectrum. The one is tech and the other is just pure <clears throat> building materials and uh, um, anything to do with, uh, with uh, you know, how improving the home, um, coming off its high but still close to the high. But that's a pretty big uh, pullback that it had from the 300 and what's it, 37, was it? Yeah, 338 level down to 315, 316 just in days. 
and now it's trying to come back. So that's been the name of the game. I think fund managers have consistently said, if that's not working, <clears throat> I'm going to something else. And when certain sectors get really decimated, then they start putting their, their, their foot in the door and start to see if they can get some percentage gains. And it's not one of the, You remember Joe Granville used to always say, the late Grand, Joe Granville used to say, when, when there's a real bear market, 97% of the stocks go down. But we haven't seen that except for maybe three times since 2000, the low of 2009, March of 2009. <clears throat> Most of the time we've had you know, the 8%, 12%, 15%. And they, you know, there was a 39% in March of a year ago. We were lucky to get long at the very bottom. But uh, it, it's been kind of rare. So it seems to me that we've got the mentality, and I discussed this on my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour this morning, that there's a certain mentality and the larger trend is kind of where else are you going to go? And that's why the stock market is doing so well. You've got the Fed at your back. I, you know, I, I suspect they're going to stay there for a little while. But I, talk, I spoke to you, I think it was last week, where I said we had gone short the, the Dow. We had taken profits in the shorter term, long positions in the Dow, diamonds. And we had gone short. And it looked great. It went down for what? I, I and D. So it goes seconds. down for 1,000 <laughs> points in three days. And then Thursday turns around. So... The Dow is now lagging. It was leading, now it's lagging. The, S the Qs have gone way above their previous high. The S&P has gone, just gone to new highs. The Dow's lagging, IWM's lagging the Dow. So this is going to be a very important phase. Over the next two, three weeks, going to say uh, the Labor Day weekend, are we going to see um, a catch up where all the indices make new highs? Or are we going to see, as we saw, remember back in January of 2000, 2018, I think it was, the New York Stock Exchange made its high, and then it never got there for a long time, I mean, years. So that's going to be the big thing. Are we looking at something where we start to fail? And I, I talk about the, the dark news cloud cover, where you've got to have a couple of things that just persist and they sit. It's, it's like the storm that we just had. It just went right by with all the news and everything. And, and yep, there were some down trees and stuff, but actually the storm kind of missed us. And is that really what we're looking at, that the market will constantly ignore um, rates, will ignore the fact that the ship, I spoke about this this morning about the shipping containers, how how difficult it is to get them and how expensive. And they, they even um, now uh, um, there's a price war for containers in some place. I, I spoke to my nephew in Australia, Sydney, Australia, and he said, you can't get a container unless he overpays. And well, yeah, um, I'll, I'll give you the, the this is the real this is the number. So listen to this, folks. OK, I, I bring containers in from China all the time. OK, and. I normally pay $1,745. That goes from southern China to Tampa, Florida. $1,745. Been doing it now five years. Do you know what I, do you know what the cost is right now? This is sick, folks. $14,500. Well, I swear, my, my, my nephew yeah. said that uh, he had one price uh, yesterday at 20000 Australian dollars. So that's the yeah. equivalent. It's so, unbelievable. You know, it's intriguing here. So what's happened, though, it, it, I suspect what's going to happen in... I don't know, maybe six months, because I was talking to the factories over there, and there's plenty of people that are small like me that don't have contracts, okay? See, the, the Amazons of the world folks have contracts with the container company, so they're not paying up. So they're oh, locked in, right. Right, this is the cash price. So that's going to change, because when you're doing business in China, what ends up happening, whatever goods you're buying, you normally you give them a, a deposit, they stop making the product, in my case, I bring home stuff. I bring fences in and all this stuff, okay? So the bottom line is that it's going to have to go down because that's not affordable for anyone. You know, so right. at some point, it's going to go down. You know, we'll find out. When you take a look at the Baltic Index, um, and you take a look at the chart of the Baltic Index here, in fact, watch this. I'll put this up right now. This gets really interesting because you're going to see... The thing that's amazing, looking at this too, is that this is this is at highs. Now, th this is tiny little dots that you're going to see here, folks. Okay, I want to put this on a 10-year monthly, but <laughs> I mean, you're going to see, you know, once you got over, you know, we're at 41, 47. I'm just giving you a, a, you know, you can see it's never been there, ever, you know. 
And it's going to so have to come down because if it doesn't come down, uh, well, no, th th this is what I was wondering. This is what I don't get. No, I knew I saw it higher. In 2007, it was a lot higher, but I wasn't doing it then, so I don't know. But anyway, that was the it's, grains, right. it's, that was, remember, the it's grains serious. And... It's serious business, man. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You know. So what happens is I think they, they, what happens most most probably is that um, at a certain point, they are forced to bring prices down. When that happens, that's going to be very important. But what it is is that where the profits, I mean, if you're spending that much on containers and these are your products that you sell, that's a serious thing. So what I've been saying is that we, we've been long, uh, we, we're, we're still long in certain areas in the medical devices and that, that type of thing, scientific uh, uh, devices. And that's been working beautifully at all time highs. I think you've got to be very selective here, but so far, so good. Yeah, I love it. Listen, folks, very easy to get his newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You hit that button. Basil, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. You Thank too. you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Chart. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's up 70, Nasdaq's up uh, 91, S&P's are up uh, 12 and a half. Let's go inside the NDX 100 and look at the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX today. Oh, this is a big one. Look at this move. Holy cow. Pendur do is up 22%. JD.com's up 15, Baidu's up 9, to get net east up 9. I guess they're not worrying about uh, what's going to happen on the clamp down, the continued clamp down. Well, I, I guess it could be up 20% because Pendua Dua still went from $188 down to 74 in six months. That's pretty intense, no doubt. So those are the winners inside the NDX 100. We take a look at the 
drag on the Moderna is down 3.7 percent, or 15 bucks. You get uh, analog devices down 2.6. You get Maxim integrated off 2.5, and you get ADP down 1.6. Let's take a look at ADP, and we'll take a look at these. Uh, payroll company so, so we come off the high well I had not much volume at the high I come down off the high with some volume Let's see when they're coming out with their numbers next October 28th so they already came out revenue wise 3.7 billion dollar 20 yeah that They've been basically doing what they've been doing for quite some time. But I can tell you, uh, economy-wise, it's always good looking at those payroll companies. There's no doubt about it. Uh, AMC. We'll take a look at AMC if one of the targets out here. So if you take a look at AMC, um, you know, you're higher today and have some volume. Uh, AMC, to me, I can tell you flat out, though, you're going to get bounces here. But my, my take on AMC is that you're going to go back down to $13. You're at $43.95 right now. But we'll see what we'll see how that baby shakes out. And I believe the reason that AMC is jumping today, uh, well, they're saying stock jumps as COVID vaccine gets. Let me see what it says there. Okay, so that jumped. Uh, uh, the headline on this newsletter, is, uh, news not the news article is. Jumps higher after the FDA granted long-awaited full approval for the, Visa, for the Pfizer COVID vaccine. You know, hey, we'll see where this baby shakes out. But when you take a look at these numbers inside it, AMC is, tell, is telling the world, folks, that they're going to lose money for another year. It's longer than a year, actually. When you, if you're watching Tiger TV, you're looking at these numbers right now. Um, bottom line, as far as you can go forward, they're telling people they're going to lose money. But yet... Uh, the bottom line is that they keep bidding the stock up. So it's, pr it's pretty wild watching this whole thing shake out. Let's go take a look at RBLX. So this is virtual reality, which for some folks is reality. So let's take a look at this. Robo Roblox, okay, provides entertainment products and services. The low is $60, the high is 103 They... Dollar wise, they take in 633, 633 million. And this actually, the last quarter is going to be well, it looks like they want to make, they're going to make money this quarter. Now they're growing exponentially. They're growing by approximately 20 to 25% per year. I mean, you're talking about a monster number. People like this, whatever it is. Um, and so you get your broke top side. That's some decent volume. Yeah, this one's higher price, man. You know, we're at 89.94's game. Take this, put this on a weekly. Yeah, this is a nice setup. This is a nice setup. Yeah. You see what it ends up happening up at that. Uh, I just put it on a daily again. Yeah, we'll see how this shakes out at uh, the 94. It wants to run to the 94. That's what it looks like, though. Uh, the second one is Unity Software. Uh, this provides, this is the same thing, okay? Graphic tools to create, run, and monetize real-time 2D and 3D content for mobile phones, tablets, PCs, consoles. The low is 65, the high is 174. This has a revenue of uh, 264, 264 million. They're going to be losing money for quite some time. They are growing at approximately... 12 to uh, no I, yeah, about 12 to 20 percent per year so that's that's a big number man there's no doubt about that we take this put this on a weekly and you get an abc up oh this is see this is always cool when you when you when you take a look at some of these equities and you know you're, you're looking at them folks okay it's always cool to do a daily weekly monthly that's the real bottom line now, I did the weekly, and the weekly's an ABC up. So you got 115, you get 76. That's a nice one. It's a 40 point A to B. So you got 132, and you're at 124 right now. Oh, uh, see, this gets in. Yeah, that's all right. It, it, it got to 129, but 132 is your ABC structure on the way up. And I want to show you something else on this equity, though. See how it's stopped on its tracks? 
at the lows of the downdraft. That's, that's the seller. The same seller that's there most of the time, that's a seller getting rid of more stuff. That's, you know, it's, it's running into serious resistance at that level, but most of the time you go up into that place two or three times and then you're off to the races. That's how that normally works. That's, that's you know, so I wouldn't, you know, really let it get in any way. Let's go take a look at a couple of the big dogs. Amazon, uh, what Amazon did do is that Amazon came off its lows yesterday, had some juice behind the move. I, I don't think Amazon's done going down yet. I think it, you know, that's, even if we pull back a little, say, you know, when I was talking with Basil, um, the thing that's pretty cool is that Amazon took a huge hit, man. I mean, you know, see, there's, there's equities that are inside these indices that actually did take a huge hit. I mean, Amazon went from a price point of 37.70 to 31.60, 80, so seven, 600 points, okay? You know, for Amazon, that's still a lot. That being said, it looks to me like, now, now I come into resistance, but if we get another little pullback, that 3,000 level is game. And if you own Amazon, let me just see this, you really want it to go, they'll go there. Because that, well, let me see this, oh, that's 31.75. Well, it really doesn't have to, no. Because when we actually did come down there, that's interesting, we, when we came down last, on a weekly, the weekly got into the bar and then rejected it. And it did have lighter volume, so it really doesn't have to go down there again. We'll see how that shakes out, but it does not have to go down there again because it had already done it. If we go over to Google and we take a look at Google, you know, Google just continues to want higher price. I mean, Google's up 30 bucks right now. And that baby is trading out at a price point of $28.52. What's going to be intriguing here is that we're, what we're going to watch more than likely in the next year, but, you know, I think the market already knows it, you're going to have the, the government coming after Google, Facebook, and Amazon. <laughs> I don't think the government's going to win any of those cases. <laughs> that's, my, that's my take on it. Do you know what I mean? Because what they'll do, I'm, I'm talking about antitrust cases, um, because... They already let them buy and get everything they want. Will it slow them down a little? Maybe. Other than that, it's status quo. Dow Industrials uh, pulling back there. Status show is up 90, we're only up 47. Uh, NASDAQ is up 85, S&P's up nine and a half. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now, 48. Nasdaq's up 82. S&Ps are up 9.5. Let's go to our man Dave in Chicago. Hey, what's going on, brother? How you doing, Tom? Uh, I'm, this... I'm checking in with you again. Last time I spoke to you, you gave me a lot of sad news about OIH. And, and uh, there's life after was... death, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, man, it I've was been the thinking end of the world you a lot. A few days ago, you know. But... Listen, I've been thinking you a lot, man. I, I and I'm not kidding, okay? Because I've traded the OIH so many times, man. And I'm at my kitchen table like yesterday before, and I'm saying to myself, oh, is he, gonna be, is he still in it or not? Okay? So I saw one exploded topside. The good news is there's life after death. You made it through it. Okay, now let's talk about it because now, now you're going to be really happy. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, I don't know how you took it, but guess what? You took it, which is great. Um, okay, yeah. so let's take a look at this. The, the OIH, folks, okay, bottom line is that you get the oil service at ETF. The low for the year out here is uh, where are we at? 87. The high is 248. You're at 183 right now. And this baby rejected the lower price at the lower end of the consolidation. Uh, and what it did, you know what I was worried about, uh, you know, basically, and I could see why you, you would have got out of it, is that when it... It, it broke that low, man, and then it closed uh -huh. above it, which was like, oh, man, that's a trip on Friday, last Friday, right? Uh -huh. And yeah. So anyway, the bottom line is that now uh, the way these stocks trade, and you'll, you'll – once you're on this, like I had traded – I think I had traded these about four or five years in a row at, at one point. Um, but that's – my take now is going to 248. It did what it was supposed to do, man. You know what I mean? Went down there, cool. re rejected it. Had the number. You got a sign of strength yesterday. Um, you want to, uh, on a weekly, if I put this in the daily, you can see it's pretty clear on the daily. On the daily, it's, it's you know, I mean, that, that broke that downtrend, man. Um, on the daily, it's like, you know, realistic. You can, you're going to get flack at uh, like 193. There'll be flack. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the first leg should be easy to get to, up to that 193 to 201 area. Then mm -hmm. what you'll probably what you'll see is that you'll build some cause there, and that's what you want mm -hmm. too, Dave. Okay, you do mm -hmm. not want the straight line move all the way up because if because it will run out of gas. If you get to the first level, you go back and forth for a week or two weeks, right? Then you're going to get what you want, man, right to the top of that again. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you're in. So, you're, so would you add on the dip on, on the on the pullback, or would you? You know, I mean, in terms of if, if you were looking to add, would you? Wait till the you I, know it, it pulls back a little bit on that one ninety something resistance area. That's a good way of doing it. You mean let it go up there first, right, and then wait for a pullback, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah wait for it to come back, soften a little bit and then reload or you that, know. No, that, that's a good way of doing it yeah. because what happens there is this. Then the analysis is like, okay, it really is moving. It's up to that point. You know what I'm saying? You're going to mm -hmm. be able to see. Okay, has the volume expanded a bit as it goes up to there? Okay. And then what y'all what you want to know, and this is where folks, okay, when the equities go against you, you can actually learn more. So the first pullback, that's when you're really going to get a, the market's going to give you a huge amount of information. 
And what you're mm. going to be looking for is this. So look, today we get 754,000 shares. Yesterday was 732, okay? So it's even better. Mm. We're going to get probably 800,000 today. So as you get up to this, let, let's say let's say we make it to 200 by Friday. You probably can make it 200 by Friday. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. it's not as big. And then when it pulls back, you want it like 10 to 20% lighter than how it's gone up. And just pay attention to... You don't have to pay attention to the whole streak here. Pay attention to how it came off the bottom and how it's trading right now. And if that's what you get, you get some really good action, man. That's telling you that, okay, man, now we're building cars to get to higher price, and you get some action. Then I just make sure that um, even though in this, in this one, this is not the Exxon Mobiles and the, you know, uh, Chevrons mm -hmm. in the world. We have inside of this one, you get the Schlumberger. Okay, you get the Schlumberger and Halliburton. So... Mm -hmm. What to do there is go over and take a look at Schlumberger. Where is Schlumberger? I should know that by heart. S S H S. There it is. Okay, S L B. So you take a look at those because that those weighting structures are so big. Yeah, that's a nice setup, man. Okay, and see so you can see this even in Schlumberger. She. That the swing point got broken, mm -hmm. comes back on the other side. It's a nice setup, man. And it's the same type of setup. And I would take th that, and then I'd, I'd look at Halliburton, and that's the first thing you should do every morning. That's the real bottom line. Because where those are going, you're going, man. And mm -hmm. that's just a good confirmation. And you can see Halliburton strong, man. Hey, hey Tom, if I could sneak in a related one, I, you might have talked about it earlier, but where do you see oil potentially going up to before it starts? Yes, yeah, so let's take a look. That's a great, it's a great. It's and it, it, all of this. This is what's really cool about this trade, folks. This whole trade is about the dollar index going south and oil. I mean, this is a monster move by oil. Oil is going all the way back up to seventy three, seventy five bucks, man. Mm. I mean, look at this move. This is crazy. In two yeah. days, we've gone from sixty one to sixty seven. <laughs> wow. That's yeah. Cool. But, you know, guess what? It, that once that dollar turned, okay, and it, you know, it went down good yesterday. Today, it's really, you can say it's flat. It's down 66 ticks, but it's flat. If we get one more day, let, let's if we get tomorrow or the next day, folks, with a wide price spread in the dollar index, what it will give us is that it will give you a break of the trend, I believe. Let me just look at this for a second. Okay, so you need a couple days. Now, if we, get, if we get a move like we got yesterday, even within by the end of this week, you're going to break the whole trend, and that's saying that the dollar index wants to get on 89. So, Sweet. Yeah, I know. It, is, it really is, man. I'm really happy for you, man. It's, it's, well, yeah, it and takes, I, need to make more, I need to make more money from OIH so I can pay more money at the pump. So, Wow. Uh, you, you, <laughs> you, it's pretty tough hanging in there like that, and so I know, I know what the yeah. difference is. So. You had a smile on your face yeah. yesterday. It's pretty amazing how that came off the bottom, isn't it? That was like oh my god, intense. Yeah. Yeah. And, well, especially when stuff plays out like it should. You know, when you see it, when you said like it closed above. Yes. And it was kind it, of almost done. You, you're like, is that a trick or did it really happen? You know. And I got to show you uh, this, folks. Okay, because, because be, what is what has happened here on this equity, folks? Okay, I, I always pay attention to when anyone calls with any equities, and they're they're on my board. But because I traded these equities so many times this one really was because i know and i've been in your situation trust me <laughs> so it's like oh man and when i saw this on friday so picture this folks look what this did this got down to 165.11 and then closed at 166.67 right one those no, so 166.67 right and the the bottom line is is that oh it you know, it just it just saved itself, man. I mean, like by a whisper, right? It's it's all right. it's all right. Well, thank you, Tom. Okay, man. As Have always. a great one. Have a safe one. All right. And yes, we are going to start paying more for commodities in general, folks. Because if we get one more move like that, I said like in a dollar, what I expect we're going to get, it's game. It's game on for commodities in a big way. And I can tell you, just from the aspect of. Uh, and I don't blame it for people not wanting to deal with commodities because they've got wrecked or gold or silver. But I, I know from the aspect of 
The calls coming in, emails coming in, no one cares about any of the commodities. That's when the commodities go. Everyone's going to call in like eight weeks from now when they're already up 50%. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 30. You get the NASDAQ up 73. S&Ps are up 6.5. Let's go take a look at those uh, S&Ps for a second. So first, let's let me take a look at the futures here. So... We had a high out here today of 492. You're off that by 11 points. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, this thing's just taking a break, man. You know, it a, that, that took a lot of energy yesterday to get up and over that high. Uh, and just about everything was green yesterday. So I suspect that's going to be a couple sideways move. We're only on Tuesday. It still has plenty of time to basically get to higher price. Um, we take a look at the NQs. And the NQs right now, the high today was uh, 384. That's 40 bucks off. So that got cut in half. It's not a big deal either. Yeah, it's really not a big deal. That also took that. The NQs look to me like they're going to do a whole new leg. That 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 move. That, actually, the last three days of the move, we we went from 14,710. <laughs> My God, the NQs are something else. It's 20 bucks a point, folks, um, to uh, 15,337. Yeah, the NQs look to me like they're going to take a whole nother leg up. And you got to remember, calendar-wise, where we are. Where we are, we have this week, and then we go into Labor Day. 
Um, you know, going into Labor Day, Labor Day is not like July 4th. You know, I mean, July 4th, people like buying, having a happy, but most of the time, if the market's not in a big downdraft, which most of the time it actually is by now, uh, Labor Day normally turns out pretty good. And, you know, we make it by Labor Day. <laughs> That's saying that, yeah, you can go sideways for a bit, but guess what? They'll start ramping up again, um, and I think a lot of it, a lot of it has to do, uh, you know, with inflation. I think these are inflated numbers, and it, it doesn't matter whether they're inflated numbers or not, because it is what it is. But guess what? You know, it, it's going to take more. A million dollars is not going to be worth what a million dollars was worth two, two years ago. That's what it comes down to. Always oh, remember, folks. The bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, have a safe night, and we look forward to speaking to you right here tomorrow. You gotta love it. Go get them, folks.